an analysis of the differences between the younger and older generation and an inspector calls with Mrs Potts from the Net English director team. Priestley uses the older generation to symbolise the ignorant middle upper classes who were driven by the capitalist ideals of individual wealth and privilege. The younger generation symbolise hope for a rejuvenated society that is based on collective responsibility, equality and education. In Act 1, Sheila is rather pleased with life and doesn't challenge her parents' lifestyle. She is materialistic, excited to become Mrs Gerald Croft and appears to be aligned with her mummy and daddy. It is Eric who appears to be in some sort of conflict with his parents. He is squiffy and questions his father unlike Sheila and Gerald. What about war? Showing he is more perceptive about the world than the pink and intimate lifestyle of his parents. Arthur foolishly replies with fiddlesticks showing his ignorance and stupidity. It is Inspector Girl who re-educates the younger generation in the ways of a modern society. The upbringing and education that Mr and Mrs Berlin have offered is limited and will not serve a socialist world. When Arthur discloses why he sacked Eva, Eric and Sheila immediately sympathise and realise that these girls are not cheap labour, the people, an idea their parents do not understand. As the play develops, Sheila and Eric take responsibility for their selfish actions towards Eva and immediately feel guilt, something that their parents don't. In Act 2, Sheila reverses roles with her mother as she tries to warn her of her ignorant behaviour. Sheila is afraid Sybil will see or do something that she will regret and tries to explain that she mustn't build a wall between herself and the lower classes. Advice that Sybil fails to understand and ignores. When girl leaves, the division between the younger and older generation remains and we witness further friction. Priestley presents Sheila and Eric as half characters in Act 1. Sheila is half serious, half playful, and Eric is half shy, half assertive. But by Act 3, Sheila and Eric are fully formed adults who have grown in maturity and responsibility under the education of Ghoul, unlike their parents, who are exactly the same. Both children have been able to find their own voice and mind instead of being trapped by the pink and intimate lifestyle and education of their capitalist parents.